Mark Kaiser, CV, the voice of college football, here to continue our breakdown of the SEC revised schedules. Of course, increasing the league schedule from eight games to ten games with no non-conference games. So a difficult slate for everybody in the SEC because they can't puff up and boost the records versus FCS and out-of-conference group of five opponents. All right, we move on to the Auburn Tigers. We are down to Auburn, LSU, and Alabama, and you can add it all up and see our championship prediction for Atlanta on December 19th. All right, to the Auburn Tigers, uh, you will see the two numbers in the two columns. If you haven't watched the previous videos, please do. Uh, share your record projection for all the teams in the SEC as well, and we will next move on to the ACC. Like comment, share the videos out on social media. Not everybody knows that we're here talking college football each and every day, the best discussion, debate, and analysis. That's our mission. Help us complete the mission. Leave your comments below. And again, share the videos on social media and subscribe. Hit the bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live, as we did last night with a three-hour call-in show. All right, to Auburn on the Plains. You see the football power index number or the probability percentage that they will win the game. And then mine, of course, I made my selection, wrote down my number before I looked up the, up the FPI so I would not be influenced. All right. Sometimes they match. Sometimes they are far different, as in week one with Kentucky uh, in town at Auburn. Uh, the Wildcats given little chance by the power index at 13% to defeat the Tigers of Auburn. I've got it at a 59-41 split in favor of Auburn, and Auburn will win the football game against Kentucky. Then they've got a difficult date against arch rival. You could say Alabama. You could say Georgia. This is the oldest rivalry in the South. In Athens against the Bulldogs, I give them a 29% chance of winning, and uh, the power index a little bit better at 38%. Then a stretch of games that they should be able to clear rather easily. Arkansas, South Carolina on the road, and Ole Miss on the road. High numbers given by the Power Index. Uh, I favor Ole Miss a little bit more with a 61-39 split in favor of Auburn against Lane Kiffin and company. Then they've got a run against LSU, Mississippi State, and Tennessee. Pretty much a 50-50 matchup at home against the defending national champions. Uh, Mississippi State this season is lightly regarded by the Football Power Index. Most of these numbers for Mississippi State, uh, the opponents' uh, win percentage is in the 80s and 90s. And for Auburn, it's 92%, even on the road at Mississippi State. Then you've got a stretch drive that is very difficult for the Tigers, taking on Tennessee, Alabama, in Tuscaloosa, and Texas A&M. Uh, the only big disparity here is 70 to 50%, as I've given... Uh, basically, Texas A&M a good shot of winning uh, the game at Auburn. And uh, the football power index really favors the Tigers. So how does it shake out? All right, the football power index is predicting Auburn to finish at 8-2 and two against the likes of Kentucky, Georgia, LSU, Tennessee, Alabama, Texas A&M. Auburn only loses twice. Okay, we generally think of Auburn as a top 10 to 15 program in the nation. I do, and you should generally think of it that way. They won a national championship 10 years ago. They went back to the BCS championship game in 2013. They went to the SEC title game in 2017. But get this, Gus Malzahn, in the SEC, the past six seasons, that covers 48 games, large sample size. What's his record? 26 and 22. So again... With some of these SEC powers that aren't right at the top, but we're used to them having eight and four, nine and three seasons, keep in mind, they're not going to have the group of five. They're not going to have the FCS games to boost the record. The SEC record for Auburn has generally been 500 over the past six seasons, 26 and 22. I'm picking Auburn to be the favorite in basically seven or eight games out of ten, but I'm picking Auburn to lose four games. Those losses come in an upset in Oxford. They will lose uh, a game against Georgia, which they're expected to lose, and then they finish off with two losses against Alabama and Texas A&M. I'm a little bit high in the Aggies this season. Auburn at 6-4 and four according to me. I know I'm going to get bashed for this record, but keep in mind, 26-22 and 22 in the SEC, and it's a SEC-only slate this year. Of course, they could go 5-5. Five five. They could go 8-2, 9-1. It's a talented team 
but it's a difficult schedule. Leave your record projection below. We'll get to LSU and Alabama next, right here at Mark Rogers TV. The voice of college football.